I should not be trusted with sharp objects. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know me, I'm going to get a mug. On the way here, there was a copper that was following me because I'm thinking, please don't pull me up on promise, please. <laughs> Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I think it's like, I look dishevelled. I've just done a really long, long wig of shifts and um, I'm charging right now. It's 12, 22 right now. I look like it. <laughs> so I've just gone round to my Niles, we were like bored, couldn't sleep, so we're just gonna get up to some no good as per usual. My Niles got a meeting in like seven hours, I've gotta be waiting like seven hours. Did I tell you, on the way here, there was a copper that was following me from like the top of Grange Hill all the way round. Yeah. So I went round with Natasha's way, because it was kind of like behind me. So it makes me feel very uncomfortable. So I passed the lights, went past the petrol station, went round Natasha's way, your house. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, please don't pull me up on promise, please. <laughs> if only I could just show you right now, but she doesn't like being on camera. Yeah. <laughs> if only I could show you what's going on right now. What is that meant to be? I don't know. Okay. So I'll show you the proof in a sec. I am like watching some shit about um, Andrew Tate, who I really freaking freaking fucking hate. And then True Geordie has done like really a video out there to get him. It's just like what's actually happening. And with that, with regards to the boss going on there, did the story on Instagram like I always do because I'm a huge fan. Not only he likes my post, I'm like, oh, he puts it on his story. Then I put the, his story on my story. So thank you so much. Saw it and he liked it again. Showed Manny and she lost her. Last Christmas or the Christmas before, it was when Dolly was tiny, weren't it? When he was on my. <laughs> Yeah, when Christmas Dolly was really tiny, so I think it wasn't last Are Christmas. No, <gasps> it wasn't last Christmas, not the Christmas before, but the Christmas before that. Because now she's two and a half. What the f? I can't believe Dolly's done. I need to see Dolly. Jesus Christ. Sorry. I remember doing something about watching him, or like I'm putting it on my story, and he looked at it and he liked it, and I was like, oh yeah, cool. You know, everyone was like, going, oh my god, he's saw in your story. And I'm like, oh my god. Funny how I've just found this. I actually like hand Shirovsky fired this like a, over a year ago. I've got a thing where I love to like collect old nostalgia stuff and like just Shirovsky fire it. Hmm? Yeah, whatever the word is. <laughs> <laughs> Side hustle used to do phones like but in the early 2000s. This was the nuts that you had Shirovskis stuck onto your phone in different designs. Oh, thank you. I did that as a side hustle in school. <laughs> I saw this online. I thought I've got to buy it. These are all real Shirovsky crystals, and I actually put batteries in it, and it actually works. I think it's hilarious. I don't mean to sound like really old, but like or dumb, but. How does Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi work? Do you just feed it? Like, what is it again? Like a robot? <laughs> no, so it basically eats, it shits, and you play <laughs> with it. She has to be child. She gives us, <laughs> she has a cesarean. 2 a.m. guys! The next thing I want to get is a Motorola razor now. I'm going to put it here right now. So if you guys come from the early 2000s, late 90s, early 90s. What's a Motorola razor like a, a bikini razor? You don't remember the, the Motorola one? razor? Yes, yes, Wait, the flip the phone. Uh, it was a super skinny, fresh um, pink one. Little, oh yeah, the flip With one. With the phone show. And it has a little antenna sticking out of it. No, that was the... Uh... Wait, what was the Motorola tune again? Who was it? In the early 2000s, you would have definitely have had this phone other than AE310, Motorola Razor. I had a Pebble, which is like the smaller version to it. It was more cute. And then my sister had the Motorola Razor. And then I went off straight onto Blackberries, which is a bit like... People were more going slowly like to like Samsung phones, but I was more into Blackberries, obviously, because I was modelling back then. So I was like a lot more easier back then. Now everyone's just on an iPhone. It's really bloody weird. I've got a thing where I want to get old phones that we grew up with and I live on them for a week. I've got old blackberries around <gasps> here somewhere. Oh my god, my heart. They don't like work, BBM. apparently they don't work anymore. BBM's been shut down. Oh, what do you want BBM? Do you want BBM and you should stalk your exes on that thing? I've actually got two. Natasha got me my first BBM, I think. 
Really? I'm sure she did in Nottingham. We used to live in Nottingham together. Yeah, I remember that. I actually want to get phones we grew up with. Gem them up, like Paris Hilton's phone, because that's what happened. Paris Hilton, a massive, massive phase during the early 2000s. She inspired me uh, to do all like phones, um, do keychains and things like that, all Swarovski crystals. I had a family friend that helped me get into like all like, the trading thing and get it all properly and done it properly. I've always been able to do it properly, not just like glue random stuff on, I do it properly. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's one of the videos I really want to do, like live on like a phone I grew up with for a week. Unfortunately, Blackberries actually do not work in this country anymore, which is I used absolutely- I the old Nokia's as well, I used to play Snake on them. 8310, that was the 8310. This was like my first like proper work phone and that one as well. Well apparently the Blackberry services are gone now. Yeah, but there's no 5G, 4G or anything on them. We'll figure it out. We'll see how it goes. But this hasn't been on for what, like 12 years? It's been a while. 13 years. I'm not that old. Has no it? way. Oh wait, it is I had a Blackberry old. when oh, I was Chloe, 16. Chloe, no it is. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chloe's just reset. A Tamagotchi she's got and it hatched, but I still don't understand it. She needs to explain it to me. <laughs> and this it's is my basically hot a pet that we have that poops and eats and dies. Basically. Look at it. But WhatsApp existed. What the fuck? Oh, oh my do you have a BBM? God. What the f What the hell? This is jokes. Oh god, that's your name in Arabic. Yeah, it must have been a big. Alright guys, we just need to get some essentials. Already in danger. Look at the days. Do you know how expensive these used to be when these first came out? Like all the facial rollers and stuff, like all these. No, 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 it's super cheap. Here we go, the Valentine's stuff. It's really decent. It's a bread and breakfast and bed set. Mug and bowl set. You're a hot tea. Keep it. I like these, these champagne glasses. We've got the cosy stuff here. Oh. <gasps> They're so cute. No way. Look at those. A 2 49 You know me, I'm going to get a mug with a really bad pug. You're the bestie. Happy <laughs> mine. Good giraffe for me, crazy. Love the Mickey Minnie Mouse ones. <gasps> no. Stop. Slice of my life. Oh my God, you are coming home with me, sis. 100% my type. I like that because um, I'm no one's type. <laughs> However, I do like the alcohol section. Oh, the Valentine's bit. Cards as well. The cards are really good to get earlier. Especially in bargain stores, because it just turns into two. Would it be weird if I get a car for myself? Of course not. My TikTok ring light. These are actually really good for 25 quid. Really sturdy, actually. The light on that is really good, and all the settings are really great. 25 quid. Stip. These never fit my phone. One thing I like to come here for is the lashes. This is supposed to be Coco Chanel. They're 199. They're supposed to be really, really good. And that's supposed to be Days by Mark Jacobs. And you've got black opium here, which is this bottle right here. But I've got a bit of a sneezing fit right now, so I can't get too close to her. That's actually really handy because it comes with the cuticle oil. Beauty aisle, my favourite part. I came here for some masks. You got baby pump masks? Are you serious right now? I like the face facts ones, you know me. They go really well with my face. Oh, what are these? Gel masks. Now, I don't like gel masks because they're not very easy to clean up. Nice and clean. Oh, just before, you don't even want to think about hot girl summer. Summer stuff is already coming out. Oh, can't wait to get some of this stuff for Squishy. Oh, should I get this for Squishy? I think I had Spirit. She's actually more of a fan of Spirit. Oh dear, I am in trouble. If I had enough space in here, I would take these home with me. I need to go now. Well, well, well. We got some goodies. We got a delivery. I only did some bits and bobs that I needed. I know it's Jan. People are going to get pissed off when I show you this. These are so handy. We got one of these. So this was from last year. But I lost it and I've only just found it. It was in a random home bargains bag. Like where the cleaning stuff is. I went, oh, what's this? So she's picked this out. I was like, I've been looking for that everywhere. I think they're like 60 something P. These are absolutely fantastic. They're your friend. I am this year going to do a Christmas essentials thing this year. Um, this year for Christmas, I'm going to be super organised. I will show you what these look like. So this is the Christmas planner. So they come in different ones. They came in Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. I got the one with the snowflakes. And then this one here, I got it in a nice candy cane stripey silver red thing going on there. So it comes with a sleeve that actually has a notebook with a checklist here. So it says 
Christmas notes there. Uh, this is really good when you go Christmas shopping. So the master to-do list, this one is really good. If you're on social media, this is really, really good for like Christmas content. So it's like a really good like Christmas checklist. So we've got plans by month there. So it's not just planning for like towards Christmas. It's actually like planning throughout the year into Christmas. And then we've got cards and presents there. So we've got the names here and the checklist of gifts, what to buy and when to buy it and if you've done it or not. Alright, we've got some mushrooms here. We've got Meadow Hill Butter Mushrooms. These were, I think, not, they're not too bad. I think they were like a pound. So they're going into Mum and Dad's dinner right now. Oh no, I'm opening this while Mum's here. She's going to go mad at me. Okay. We all knew we was going to go home with this, didn't we? Speaking of mugs we got another one this one i've been looking at for quite a while because i immediately got attracted by this um handle i know some people don't call it handle some people call it arms it kind of looks like a mug from harry potter it's gold rimmed it says reach for the stars in gold we got the simple fabric one okay, so it's fabric on the outside gel on the inside um this one was brilliant i tried this myself like a little while ago and i didn't react to it it actually worked quite nicely ready to use these i'm quite scared because me with sharp objects is probably not the best way to go hair removal and deplanting tool it shapes eyebrows moves peach fuzzies removes hair and exfoliates i'm in a pack of two here i'm a little bit scared i should not be trusted with sharp objects oh my mum might like this so my mum likes squash i don't mm, i don't really like mm. some brands i like some brands i absolutely hate robinson's i hate it don't even get me don't even get me started on it. it's rank these have been coming in 90s sweet and this with sparkling water i thought this would be fabulous they're a litre and they're 99p so i've got it in the love heart squash how cool is that and it's no artificial flavors or colors and no added sugar i was looking at dutch hand and the snow it was cherries and i thought right we're gonna have to stop with the christmas now we need to put our foot down on the pedal of 2023 and get through january already so we got to the moon and back from christian <laughs> Um, I did try and get bath and shower, but I didn't have any in. They only had love hearts, and I'm, I've had that a little bit too many times. But this one I tried last year, it was really nice. So it's space candy, whatever that is, and coconut cream. If you guys are obsessed with Lush, which is me, and if you do not want to keep paying £25 for a body spray of Snow Fairy, I suggest you run to your home bargains or B&M. And get the Winter Angel from Fabulosa. This is just the all-purpose spray. Because I'm out of that now. These are really good. I like these because they don't upset my skin. And they don't make my hands burn. And if you like Snow Fairy from Lush. Mm, it's literally the exact same. <laughs> ah, can you see him? My little DIY. I'm still in the process of doing him. My little nutcracker, my little friend there. Oh, I needed this because I just had my thumb fix. Literally just went to get my thumb fixed. Oh, I'm a cashier. Cashier. I love calling myself a cashier. It makes me feel like I'm more smarter than I actually am. I was serving a lady and this bitch put like 80 million very heavy things in the box. Uh, she just left it on the till, just looked at me to say like, while you're at it, putting that stuff through. Lick my shoes and call me Judy. So I picked the box up. Luckily, it got this bit here, like this part of the side here, not on my actual now, and it just went twing. It literally went straight into the lady's face. And I was like, ha! Because she's a very, not very nice lady when she comes in. She makes you feel like a piece of poo. Do you know what? I might actually do some series about working in retail. I, uh, let me let me know guys if you want me to do that um obviously can't say where i work because i love where i work um but there are very funny stories i can't say where i work obviously i can't say where i work like part what area i work not allowed to say a word but anyway so this morning i went to get my nails done before i went home bargain nail cream because my cuticles and that are very very dry so i got the camille hand and nail cream which is vegan it's the amount of my can and stuff i think it's the top light yeah this one's quite standard but it's only like 9p i want this for the car so i've got one for my work bag one for my handbag and i've got one in the pocket for my coat 
So I've got one on the go everywhere. I did want to get a Palmer's one because I've got like five different Palmer's ones. Um, and I want to use them throughout the whole year out because they're just so good. So, so good. But unfortunately, I didn't have any in stock. Only Dove and Dove irritates me. So we'll go for the Camille. And there you go for 99 Appy. I thought that was a, a quite decent. I fell into the trap. It's a TikTok bottle that has the... Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It's just one of those drinking challenge things that you do, like the daily drinking challenges. Oh, it is two litres, 2.1 litres. It's hand wash only, so don't forget that. But this is actually really good for a present and that. Again, if someone struggles drinking their water, they've got the handle there, they've got no excuses. It's slim enough to put in your fridge. Uh, but I did not want to pay £20 on TikTok where I can get one for my own bargains uh, for a few quid. But... I thought this was a really nice, pretty colour. It was like a sunrise. What else did we buy in my weird bag of wonders? Oh, yes, we have a delivery. Now, I'm going to step you back right now because I am so excited for this. I saw this on TikTok like a couple of a couple few weeks ago. I saw it and I was like, wow. You know me, I'm a believer in law of attraction. And this makeup artist, I've been following her for like three years since lockdown. I love her stuff and I also love the books she does and everything and like she's just a really seems to be a really cool person So I wanted to get this done for the longest time. I didn't know that it was back in stock So everyone's been going absolutely crazy over them and also this is undated which I love an undated diary But there was a bit of a nightmare when uh, it came to the delivery uh, Good old every I've never had a problem with every until now said it was going through every never had a problem with every the local depot is not too far from here It's only like a couple miles away from here. It said it was on its way Unfortunately, um, mum and dad weren't here and I was at work at a late shift It went back to the local depot then it emailed me a couple of times saying it's gonna try next working day It's gonna try next working day and I'm thinking what is going on? It only just came today, literally when I was out. Mum called me and went, oh, your parcel's in. I was like, oh, yay. The seller's called P.L. Louise. I want to do a whole full face of her stuff. I'm, like, I really want to do that soon. The bag says, stop convincing yourself your career dreams are unrealistic. Find your fire. Which I love. I can't reckon up now because he'll tell me, oh, on the bright side. My package is most certainly not going to be damaged. <gasps> oh my god, the box is so cute. It weighs a f***ing ton. Look at that, how cute. It says, you might be leaving a lot in 2022, but P. Louise is coming with you. Badass Babes Crew from P. Louise. I love that. Already, look how promising that is. <laughs> Just look at it. Oh. And, oh, it's got a pulley thing. Oh, you know, I like a pulley thing. Oh my god, it's actually huge. Oh my god. Ugh. But there's no pulley thing here. So I have to do it and get it out. I wonder how many pages it's got. So this is called the I'm a goal get. It says be prepared to achieve unimaginable things. You already have what it takes. Start exactly where you are. Believe where you are heading and achieve the unachievable. The next 12 months. <laughs> P. Louise, this looks like 10 years. This diary will not only motivate you to aim higher, but you will guide on how you to fall in love with the process of becoming the very best version of yourself. It's time to take the plunge and focus your attention on leveling up your life because the best time for new beginnings is right this second. Step into the routine of surprising all ordinary expectations and instead strive for greatness. Then we have health, make yourself and your health a priority. We've got 12 months there and then got wealth. Yes, please. Just look how nicely that's made. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow. Another plan of a to-do list as well. I cannot wait to get in this and really have a flip through and read. Anyway, guys, so I'm gonna have a nice big fat cup of tea. Watch a little bit of TV and then I'm going to really get my pen into this. I'm so excited for this. I think this is going to take me like five days. I'm going to be like to my boss, can I book off five days and fill this in? I'm going to see you guys in a bit. Hi, it's been a while. I'm not used to filming or vlogging my friends. So I'm sorry I haven't been around. I haven't been uploading for a month. I haven't really been uploading on my Instagram for a month. I've just been going on my stories just to show that I'm alive, you know, but I haven't been posting really on Instagram. I haven't really been posting. My creativity for the past month has been flatlined. So the reason why I haven't been uploading for a month is because 
I've had a lot going on and when I have a lot going on my creativity just goes flatline for a while and I have to give myself a break I've just turned the oven on that's good isn't it I've just got a lot going on to be honest and my my creativity is just completely flatlined so I have to have a break I am really sorry I haven't been on the Cambridge I haven't I've just been I've just been in survival mode, you know, I've just been in survival mode and just going to work every day, keeping my head down and just like, just really trying to be human, to be honest. Got a mogu mogu, this is when shiz gets serious. Yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't been around much. I, I do apologise. I haven't gone anywhere. Today's the first day in over a month I've been feeling all sparking me, really, to just go in, being creative and being motivated. It's been a bit of a wild ride that it is still going on, but it, I'm just... Yeah, I'm back basically, <laughs> and I'm sorry, this vlog is going to be a really long vlog, but I did want to explain why I haven't been around, and a lot of people have been asking me if I'm on Cambridge. At the moment, I'm sorry, I haven't been, I've just been, just been in survival mode really, and when my mind's not into something, I, I'm not going to force myself in something I'm not mentally ready for. I have got the products, I am at the ready. When I, I wake up one morning and think, right, I'm ready, I can start on it again. So sorry about that, but that's how I work and I do suffer with anxiety and depression. Um, it's been a bit wobbly at the moment, like there's, it's been coming and going. It's really hard, like being a really bubbly person at work and then like coming home and then just the weight on my shoulders come back again. And now I'm not blaming anyone. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not looking for anything. But if there's anyone out there that's creative like me, like you get creators all the time that are going through really hard times and they post like it's nothing, please tell your audience that you're not okay. And if you don't want to post or want to edit for a while, that's all right, that's okay. It's your channel, you can do what you want with it. I do appreciate every single one of you for jumping on my videos. I haven't been that consistent. I plan this year to be consistent, to upload three times a week, which I'm still planning to do. I've got content at the ready to edit, to go and come out. Just been really super hard. So I'm gonna do a lot of sorting out and everything. I'm not gonna vlog this time. <laughs> I'm gonna do a summer clear out in a couple of months time and I'll be vlogging that because I wanna do a spring cleaning kind of vlog. But this one is gonna be one that I need to really focus on and vlogging when you're doing spring cleans takes 10 times longer to do. And then you start procrastinating and then you think, have I got the footage and everything? So I just, I'm not gonna film this speed clean. Um, next week I'll be filming my speed clean, but this week it's just gonna be just getting rid of crap that I don't want anymore. It's not good for me and it's not serving me. Already today, I do feel a bit better today because I've been an emotional wreck. Like, my flare-ups have been absolutely horrific all over my body. I feel like a greasy mess. I washed my hair yesterday. Look at it. This morning, we've been a bit like, I had a lay-in because I couldn't fall asleep until four o'clock in the morning. Because I'm insane, I thought I heard the house phone ring. Like, a couple of rings that it cut off. I ran downstairs, I looked, nothing happened on the phone. Well, I must have dreamt it, but then I started like getting, then my anxiety starts going, I think it's gonna, it's gonna ring. It's gonna ring. <laughs> yeah, so I stayed up <laughs> waiting for an imaginary phone call to come through on the house phone. Oh, I'm a mess. Yes, I had a really annoying customer yesterday. It threw a bag of bird seed in my hands, snapped the gel on top of my acrylic, because they do gel on top of my acrylic, make them stronger, make them more doable. Oh, by the way, hey, do you like my new Manny? Very euphoria inspired, <laughs> very Y2K inspired. I picked up the bag of bird seed, she literally kind of like threw it at me, and then mine now got caught on the plastic. Well, I had a crack, like a, but sometimes that's like the gel polish on top. So I thought, I can't, I couldn't see anything or anything, so I thought, Maybe it might have just slightly snapped some of the gel. I'm due for an infill next week anyway, so I thought that could wait. I came home last night after a very long shift. <laughs> I just had enough and I washed my hands before I'd done my skincare and it just went. It just like flew into the bathtub and I just looked at my little stub, had a moment of sadness. And a lot of people ask me, why do you have them so long? These, bro. They're not long. You should have seen me back in the day. My nails used to be like literally this long. I used to be like the hot Cheeto girl. I'm not even lying. I thought I bought some pit of reds the other day. Now they're all gone. Uh, and my dad has a very unhealthy obsession with mackerel. Kind of looks of things. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna break another nail with a minute. Uh, we all know, right? Once there's something new in home bargains like the jars, anything like that, I have to have it. I've been trying to get these for two years. I finally got them. Can you've been so annoying. So I filled them up with these chocolate eggs and bunnies. 
There we go. We have to hide it a lot of the time because Dolly likes to grab the eggs and the bunnies, but they keep melting around, so she doesn't eat chocolate really often. But these were six pounds something for these two. They're really cute. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't even tell you how much and how certain I am that Dolly has my gift. These are those crystals Dolly's obsessed with right now, which is like Dalmatian. That's like really strange spiritual crystals, like tiger's eyes. She's been into amethyst. She's been into clear quartz. She's like, I've been trying to just give her some rose quartz and like other citrines and stuff like that because it's really good for children. But she goes for like really, 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 really powerful crystals. I don't know why, but she absolutely adores these. She holds on to these the whole time she's here. Still have my paying the car off. It's just been a freaking nightmare. Like, I came home after a long day at work, went round to the Manar Hills, chilled out for a bit, had a cup of tea, just like, just have a little cry, really. And then <laughs> I had a really crap day at work. I'm up the dual carriageway, up to the village. All of a sudden, my car just won't go over 40. She had petrol, she had oil in her. Everything was fine. Battery was replaced recently. Oh, yes, because my battery died. Oh, did I tell you guys that? The battery died as well. Like, not too long ago. And it died without warning me. It just went, just died. I came downstairs about nine-ish. And I looked at my nail. Felt sad already. <laughs> so I put the appointment and um, had it fixed. Before I got to my appointment, I just like, took my time getting ready, really. Just to, like have a breather and just like watch a bit of all things Shannon, a bit of True Geordie. Oh my God, if you love podcasts and you like, I'm not going to go too into it because it's going to be, it's going to probably like piss some people off. But I am like so fascinated with the different types of narcissistic behaviours. People throw around like on social media at the moment because narcissism has become a thing that people are just like posting about and not even knowing the full education of it. And now I watched the True Geordie podcast. It was the day before yesterday, I think, a couple of days ago. And he actually interviewed someone that has a lot of experience with narcissistic behaviours. And I was like, whoa, bro. I sat back and I was like, oh my God. There's so much narcissistic behaviour that you don't know about, like that you completely have experienced all your life. They realise, yep, they're a narcissist. Because you get some people who have fallouts with someone, they go, oh, they're a narcissist, they're a narcissist. And I think, do you know the actual full term of narcissism? No. I was obsessed with it. I could not, my eyes was just fixed on it and I could not stop watching it. Normally I watch halfway through and then I go downstairs, I have dinner and then I come back while I'm doing my skincare or something. I like to listen to a podcast. At the moment it's been a thing of mine. And literally like I was obsessed with it. I was just like, mom. Because we know some people that have been like that to us. And we were like, I went, mommy, did you know that's to do with narcissism? And she was like, no. And then like so many of my relationships have been based on narcissistic abuse. I thought it was just one that was a narcissist, but it turns out all of them were. And that's why I became such a hot mess and haven't been able to have any romantic relationship since I was like, well, the one, the last one I had was like on and off, on and off for like three, four years. So I don't call it a relationship at all. It was never a relationship. It was just messy it was just messy um but my first relationship i then realized that was a little narcissistic and then the second relationship a lot of narcissistic behavior and like i'm sitting there I'm like, blows my mind how much information i took in on that one podcast and i realized this is the whole reason why i have no like, I have massive issues with, like, intimacy, relationships, trust issues. Like, I'm not looking for sympathy. It's just what I've been through. Oh, my face are ringing. Be right back. It is a few days later. I've just brushed my teeth. I've literally got to go to work in, like, half hour, 40 minutes. Okay, so we're going to go with a quick one. So, today I'm not feeling Jeffree Star. I'm actually feeling the face fact ceramide set. <laughs> If you guys can see that. I need to fiddle with my settings on my camera because I think I've accidentally or Dolly's picked up and then pressed some buttons. I don't know. But it's just not focusing the way 
it normally does, I'm sorry. So yeah, this is the Face Fact Ceramide Skin Barrier Complex, and I got that with a moisturiser. Now, I did actually buy this for work, uh, but I wanted to test it out at home first, see how it is. Now, bring a couple of face cloths with me, like during the day, because when I'm at work, I've got to wash my hands first, with this cute little soap I got from b and &M. Guys, I can't even tell you how cute it is. Yeah, I bought it for work, uh, for like during the day, for like lunchtime, just to wash my face to make sure that, like, you know, when you work somewhere where it's got aircon and heating and that, like, I think that does kind of, like, cause a little bit of inflammation in my face during the day and like on my arms has been quite bad. I went for a whole week and a half just wearing makeup for a whole week, just having fun at work and that like, all of a sudden I had a flare up because... Like I said, we have had a lot going on at the moment. Cleanser, this stuff is actually really, really good. Like, because I'm running out of my Jeffree Star skincare quite bad, and it keeps selling out. It's so annoying. So we're gonna, it's quite a big dollop, so I think one pump is enough. Just like, just do a quick clean, basically. So this morning I've just been editing all morning. Like this vlog that you're watching now. I'm a mess. And it's okay, I'm a mess. It's okay. Life update, this month, my period has been absolutely, I can't even tell you how traumatic my period has been this week. I can't even tell you the trauma my period has caused me this month. And I'm not going to do too much skincare today because when we get home from work I'm going to have a face mask on. Then we're going to go with the Face Fat Ceramide Skin Barrier Complex Moisturising Gel Cream. Now this stuff is thick. So can I warn you if you're going to use this please uh, a little goes a long way basically a very small amount goes a long way because you just end up feeling like you've got loop on your face it's so thick but it's just good for like at work and stuff so i'm gonna buy more of these and actually just put it in my work bag for like in my break times i can just like wash my face like just wash all the impurities off and stuff so while i'm on plan i've just decided it's a little thing of mine i've wanted to do for quite a while which was to give my boobs a break and go wireless. I went wireless for a little while in lockdown, during lockdown, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it in hell. I've run out of my Jeffree Star moisturiser. I'm running out of the cleanser. I've got plenty of the makeup remover left because the little goes a long way with that stuff. I'm just gutted that I can't get it in stock, like all together. I'm just buying a whole lot. It's very frustrating. It is a little bit on the white side, this stuff, but. It does the job. Right, before I forget, these need to go in the car. So I got the Zoflora <laughs> car scent. I've been trying to get these for weeks. Uh, that was from Home Bargains. I think it was a pound something. Then I got these, I think from B&M or Home Bargains. Uh, just the matching wipes for my car because I am actually running out of white. The only wipes I can use is the Zoflora or Fabulosa because I'm allergic to all the others. So I have, I actually am a cashier. I <laughs> uh, can't tell you where I work, obviously, because privacy. I like my privacy. As much as I love you guys, I love my privacy. I always have a pack of Fabulosas now on the side of my till because the wipes that are there already were really irritating my hands really, really bad. And then also, we got another bottle of the Winter Angel. Now I'm gonna put this in my car because I'm running out of my Jelly Belly uh, dry spray. I'm gonna sit on the stairs and talk to you guys. Because I've missed you. I've got a family party happening in May, towards the middle of May. Now I want to lose a few stone before then. So that's the target. So I want to lose a few stone before May, which I know I can easily do. It's easy to do. I've got lots of products like at the ready as well, which is really good. In a couple of weeks time, I can go to my Cambridge lady. Um, I'm going to ask her if she would mind if I vlogged in there and done whatever. I I've got to double check with her because always I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, yesterday it was my first day off in a while. I've been doing a lot of shifts, um, which is okay, uh, to be honest, because I'm putting lots of money away for a new car, basically. We have had, like, quite a little bit of, like, conversations. Like, I've had some conversations with like, creator friends about doing some collab. Um, a podcast might be on the way soon. And, well, <sighs> my podcast will be... Um, it's not going to be, like, a full set to begin with. It's going to start with, like, a cup of tea on a sofa or a glass of Prosecco and just get going with it. It has been a bit all over the place, but yesterday was the first time I just had all day off and it was nice. I went to a really big home bargains in my area. I just got all, like, you know, 
toiletries and things like that. Oh yeah, but these are my nails at the moment. <laughs> Um, we are getting them done next week. Um, went random, really, to be honest. So, I think next week, I think I'm gonna go very fun. I'm gonna go really, really fun next week. I actually didn't have enough time, because by the time I went to my appointment, I only had an hour and a half to spare, because I had to do another shift. I had to cover someone's shift. So, I only had, he only had, like, an hour to do my nails and a half an hour to get to work, so... Sucks, but it's all right. People find it cute. I actually want to do a little mini sheen haul, actually. Their makeup? Their makeup is amazing. The She Glam. I remember years ago, it was a brand years and years and years ago. And now they've, like, relaunched it on Sheen. I'm pretty sure She Glam was a brand. I know, I know. Unless I'm having a Mandela effect, which is probably true. Because <laughs> I'm insane. I've got the glitter liners. And, oh, my God, the liquid glitter liners. Oh, my God. They are so good. And I got like, uh, it was like a peach baby pink um, liquid eyeliner, which is amazing. My eyeliner skills last couple of years have got a little bit wobbly because uh, I don't do it that often, but sometimes I feel really creative and I just want to have really, I just want to make my eyes pop. Like give it, like give myself a shield of just full glam. I'll go to work sometimes full glam because at the moment it feels like my armor at the moment. <laughs> I definitely want to order a, it's a stamp wing eyeliner stamp eyeliner thing. <laughs> I don't know how, what it's called. It looks really good. So I really want to give that a crack. I really want to give it a go. You need to do a massive makeup haul, probably in like a couple of few weeks because I'm going low on my foundation and stuff. And I want to go a shade darker as well. Cause um, I'm naturally pale, but I've got a red undertone. So I kind of need to go one shade darker, I believe. Or two, maybe. We'll see. And then I find out that there's a Sephora opening up in White City. <laughs> Bitch, I can't. Bitch, I can't go anywhere near that shop. I will end up buying the whole place. Like, I would be part owner by the time I got out of that bloody joint. But anyway, booze, I'm going to get up and I'm going to put my uniform on and earn some coin. <laughs> I will see you guys in a bit. I survived the day. I've just cleansed my face with the same stuff that I did this morning. Uh, so now we are going to get this Manuka Honey Revitalising Facial Sheet Mask and from Skin Trees. I just thought it was really super cute. And these are actually really cheap. And then we're going to go over with these bad boys. So these are the hyaluronic acid ones. Because I was actually using the wrong type of ones because I wanted them just to get rid of my dark circles. Um, these are the ones, hy hyaluronic acid. I'll turn this open... I am extremely tired. I had a bit of an emotional moment today. Work just went really slow today. Chill out for a bit. I'm going to put on a podcast. I've actually finally jumped over the broom and actually downloaded Canva, but I have no idea how to use it. Listen to a couple of creepy pastas. Obsessed with MJV animations and also like Lazy Masquerade. I'm obsessed with him. I've always have been, but I'm glad I'm back. I am like, even though I'm not smiling, I am smiling from ear to ear in here because i got a mask on. But I'm back and I feel so good to be vlogging again. Just like, just vlogging, even just like chatting crap to the camera. Like, it feels so good just to be back. Normality, you know what I mean? And then once we've taken this off, um, we're going to put the eye masks on and then I'm going to leave them on for about an hour and a half, two hours and then take them off because they take a lot longer to work than what you actually believe. But anyway, my loves, if you're going through something and exhausting you, just find some time for yourself as well. Be good to yourself. Anyway, guys, so that is the end of this very strange bitten bob chompy vlog from like January and February coming into March, which is this month. I can't even believe we're in March. I'm coming back on Sundays at 9am. Our main content is also coming out on Mondays and Wednesdays at 4pm. I'm so happy to be back. I really, really, truly am so happy oh, i can't even tell you guys how happy i am i'm not going to be that youtuber that's going to be constantly like fake in my life this is me and this is raw and this is who i am <laughs> looking like this at like 11 o'clock at night if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up that really means the world to me if you do if you haven't been here already please make sure you subscribe to my channel and then press on that bell and then we'll get all the notifications when i upload next also check out my instagram right here i really want to hit 3k by the end of this month i really want to do it i i'm so close i think i think i'm like 50 odd away i think I need to check. I haven't checked. 
I haven't looked at numbers. That's the thing though with me. I, ha I don't check the numbers at the moment because like, then it just makes it not fun anymore. I look at the comments and stuff like that. But I don't look at the numbers because it stops being fun. You know? I'm going to say I love you and I'm going to leave you. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.